Today, I was challenged by a fellow YouTuber to a game of competitive GeoGuessr Bed Wars. For those of you that don't know what that is, basically, I'm sent an image. It could be a few blocks up to an entire map. And all I have to do is give them the map name of where the image was from. But at the same time, I also made it harder on myself. While every single answer I gave him, I tried to give him a pun related to my answer. Also, if you'd like to play along with myself with each image that's put on the screen, all you gotta do is comment down below your final score. And before I give my answer, you have to pause it. No cheating. I believe in you. You can do it. Or not. You can just sit and enjoy the video. That's up to you too. But that's all I got. So let's hop into it. The pictures will go from being super obvious to like the last couple are literally just pictures of a couple blocks. Those ones are designed to be like impossible to get. If you get them, it's so much more impressive. So I'm really just hoping there's a lot, like, I mean, a lot of images of underneath the map. Cause I'm gonna know that better than anyone. Cause you know, hiding spots in that. Yeah, well, I'm, I won't give any information away, but you might have some luck. All right, let's start with image number one. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. I don't know. This could really be any map. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking in a downtown space that could be waterfall because I know how like flows of traffic have a lot of people going through them and you know, flows of traffic, flows of water, waterfall. I could see it, but I think it's rooftop. You are correct. It is rooftop. <laughs> Number two. Will he go two for two? Oh man. Oh man. This is a tricky one. You see, once again, this could also be waterfall because ice is frozen water. And one of these times it's going to be waterfall and I'm not going to get it. So I'm I'm gonna take my uh my odds while I know it's obviously glacier because oh my gosh every time I cue that map I sit in that island for half an hour to get the resources so I know what that island looks like you are two for two here is picture number three okay all right picture number three so you know if I was to think of any place that would have a race car, it would probably be the Amazon jungle. Now, obviously that doesn't make any sense. So naturally, who else drives cars? Kids on a playground, right? So <laughs> I like the logic. I like the logic. So obviously you pick up your kids from the playground and then you take them to the classic Speedway. Exactly. And is Speedway your final answer? Uh, You know, I might need to ponder this a little bit more actually. See it now, if there was a hot air balloon connected to that, it could be air show, but I'm gonna go with Speedway way final answer you are correct three for three question number four see i'm not sure where the question is in this this seems to be actually picture number four if i was to inspect it uh <laughs> Now, if you place that and then put like this in the chat, then it would make sense. That would be question number four. <laughs> Let's see. You know, I don't got any puns for a flower. That's Lotus. That is Lotus. <laughs> you are going strong. Now, I got to say, though, it wouldn't be me being the most truthful if I say I didn't uh, have a little bit of a pun for a flower because I'd be, a, you know, dandelion about it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yes. Map number five. Another word for being in the grave is maybe being in a little bit of a crypt. What do you think? Hey, <laughs> I like that one, actually. That was so clever. <laughs> We're on a roll. We're on a roll. You sure are. How about this one? All right. So, you know, there's a crazy thing with this. This, you know, this particular screenshot kind of looks like a lily pad that would be on Lotus before it got like Pac-Man chomped a little bit. You know how like a lily pad has the little like, it looks like a Pac-Man from above. Usually when you play pac-man it's a game and who likes games everyone obviously but who in particular is a game designed for kids and where do kids hang out in their spare time the playground you got it <laughs> You're on an absolute roll here. We're going to start getting a little bit tougher here, but not too tough. Starting with this one. Where could this possibly be? It could really be anywhere. Usually when I look up, I think of things that are above houses. What's another name for that? You know, I'm thinking usually when you look at the top of your house, you look at your rooftop, right? You sure do. And you with that <laughs> are seven for seven. See, I know that because I've, I've glitched a spot inside of that particular water tower before, which may or may not have gotten me in trouble with the staff team at some point actually after you guess this one i'll have a funny story to tell you with that oh gosh you know when it comes to ender pearling through areas another map that i've gotten in trouble about ender pearling through things on is the map that you just sent me a picture of right here which is uh the map amazon which by the way if you ever want to get in trouble with the staff team do something on this map one day delivery insta ban that's how it works <laughs> 
All right, picture number nine. Mm. Now, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't hungry right now, so this really could just be some noodles that have escaped the bowl. You know, often when you cook noodles, you might boil them or, you know, steam them perhaps, or you might have some steam coming off of some warm food in a bowl. Often when you make food for people that are, you know, hungry, they might be a little bit angry. They might be a little bit hostile. They might be a little bit of a punk about it, you know? So, you know, if you combine those two things together, it's, it's obviously loaded. No, I mean steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed steampunk, and let's head to the next one. There. <laughs> ah, this is a classic spot. I've actually enderpearled through those barriers between the fence posts there and hidden underneath this map because you can place water off the side of air show and climb down to that particular hot air balloon that has a gap between that top slab and enderpearl into that cobblestone underneath the fire. And we sat underneath there with punch bows, myself and Target, and we just blasted some people for about 45 minutes minutes under that map so yeah that map we queued for an hour before we got a game to work for it so that was air show <laughs> it sure is because that was before the map selector oh wow okay oh okay this is directly above another hiding spot that i actually did on this particular map because underneath this map is where i actually did a hiding spot against a hacker the, the classic hacker hiding spot video and so right underneath this ledge um where we happen to be red team the hacker i believe was on either blue or green which had a flag on the right side of the island if you you go to the island that's on the side rush of this map the flags are actually on the opposite side fun fact but that's amazon there you go there's your information and a special quick delivery as well double pun oh yeah a special quick delivery i like it <laughs> <laughs> now as we get into the 10 to 20 of pictures here missing one will increase so if you get one wrong would you like me to tell you or would you like to wait for the video to find out i'd like you to tell me i like to find out i i'd like you to with your mouth make a buzzer noise going ah, ah, or something like that obnoxious. I'll be sure to practice my buzzer sounds. On this map in particular, they do a, a different holiday variation. You might get a little snowman on it, but um, I wouldn't say that's related either because uh, that's on Glacier. It sure is. Let's head to the next one. Ah, oh man, I really am getting to talk about all my hiding spot videos today, aren't I? So on this map in particular, there's a hole around these four pillars, one of them on the center of the screen right there. And that hole um, actually goes down underneath the map that has a curtain of light blue and dark blue glass blocks. Now you see on this particular map, you were able to actually climb underneath that ledge at one point before they raised the build height because of my video. And you were able to build a hiding spot on the back side of this curtain of really clear light blue water. Naturally, what you do in a hiding spot is you get a punch bow, you get a knockback stick, you get some TNT, some fireballs, any other shenanigans. If somebody has a water stream, maybe you play some sponges and naturally you hit them off the map repeatedly and they just fall into the void right next to this water if you're falling into the void next to the water obviously the map's not called void it's called waterfall that's how it, it sure is and let's head right to number 13 oh okay this is uh oh we got a home court advantage on this one i mean i mean you gotta you gotta head up to the rooftop and start dunking on people fun fact i've actually you know in some private games while waiting for people to join i've gone on to that and you can throw items into that hopper and you can play a little game of basketball now if you place a block under underneath you, you can toss an item just high enough to make it into the rim and actually score a point. I didn't know that. Fun fact. So yeah, that's rooftop. This is now where we start to get a little bit more difficult. Okay. All right. So let's see how we can go here. Ooh, I see. Would be that white thing in the middle of the map is either andesite or granite or diorite. One, one of those. I was thinking that you needed to get your eyes checked and had a bit of a dot on your vision. Oh, okay. That actually makes sense as being some blocks on the map. Yeah. I, I know which map this is. I just don't know the name off the top of my head. You know, some would think that if you don't know the name off the top of your head, maybe, that your head might feel a little bit hollow. Brain empty, almost. Uh, <laughs> that is correct. Not only are you 14 for 14 with the picks, but you're 14 for 14 with the puns. I like it. That's the real stat that matters. I don't care if I get the math right. I gotta get the puns right, okay? All right, next we will do this one. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. See, this could be a few maps because there's a couple little pillars that are like this. Now, what makes it tricky is that oftentimes, I tend to fireball jump onto weird places that look like this. Now, the thing is that Hollow has a few spots on the map, but there's also a flag underneath it where you can kind of like jump down and you can, you know, build off the wool and maybe even make a hiding spot in the flag. So it's obviously not that because that looks a little bit more natural. And it's not often that people play the way that I do. You know, now 
if we were to take the space out of that word, what would that spell? Hmm. Now if we take the of, we remove the space, that is a lotus if I've ever seen it. Now, an interesting thing about the, uh, the English language there is that lot and us combined together as lotus. That was so genius. It took me a minute <laughs> even to catch on, but that was incredible. Let's head to the next one. Ah, oh, okay. Well, actually, interesting enough, on this particular map, there was a great hiding spot video as well. I know you would have never guessed. Going straight down that staircase, there's a little bit of a yellow Mario pipe on the wall there. At one point in time, before my actually two videos on this hiding spot, because it was that good, you were able to interpearl through the iron bars and hide in the wall inside of this pipe, where you could also shoot arrows through the iron bars because projectiles are weird in 1.8. And what we could do is sit there, have no chance of dying unless they interpearl into us, and there'd be two of us in there against one, which naturally means they pass away. And at the same time, they try to interpearl in, we can also throw a fireball, and they interpearl into the fireball and fall into the void. We can place a TNT and knock them off the map, and guess what? They fall into the void, and they get a little bit of frustrated. Actually, a lot of bit frustrated. And they would get so frustrated that you imagine, you know that, what was that? That was a Pixar movie that had the little emotions that sat inside of people's heads, and there'd be, you know, the one for joy, and the one for, you know, all these different emotions, and there was one for anger. Every time he screamed, steam would come out of his ear. Yeah, that guy was a punk, steampunk. He sure <laughs> was, and you are killing it. Let's go to number 17. Ooh, okay. This one is tricky, because there is a few maps that use a little bit of this art style with the windows that kind of you know, go around really tall and they, they have like weird staircases. An interesting fun fact you might not know about this particular map is that I had this series probably three, maybe four years ago where it was literally just called private game trolling. And I would just drive people crazy on this map because I'd turn off block protection and you would I would just dig around in the building, sticking them in foot traps over and over. Now this particular building had a lot of barriers along the walls. So what I would do is I'd have people think, ah, you can get me. And I'd actually stand in that little window right there. I'd mine all the glass out and there's barriers in front of it. And then they'd pearl into those barriers and fall into the void because on the opposite side of that island, there's no staircase and it's just a hole down to the void. And that is on a very good map. It's on one of my favorite maps almost. You know, if I was to put it on a tier list, I'd say it's probably near the top, the rooftop perhaps. I like how I like the puns. It sure is rooftop. You have not missed a single one yet. All right, well, hit me with the next one. Hit me with the next one. I I can explain things in a little bit shorter way if that's really what you want. You know, I know my sentences run on for too long and they just need to fall off like waterfall. Okay. Hey, so good. Next <laughs> is this one. All right, this one, this one was kind of interesting. You know, there was a new map that kind of looked like this, but it's made primarily out of birch. Now this particular map, I fireball up onto this top part of middle quite often because it's obnoxious with the bow. And you know, I have a lot of fun messing with people. And honestly, I used to do the same thing in school. I just run around, I drive people crazy and it was on the playground. That's just how it was. That's where we're at. <laughs> and that is correct. <laughs> Number 20, I believe. Oh, okay. All right, fine. I'll keep it short. I'll keep it sweet. Just like a race. It's a speedway. <laughs> it sure is. And that leads us to this one. Ooh, okay. This could actually be a few maps. Now, I noticed that in our particular list, there's a few maps we haven't done. So I know that there's a lot of big trees on Amazon, but Amazon aren't jungle trees. Even though Amazon is a jungle, there's no cocoa beans, or I would have probably done something beating someone to death with a cocoa bean. So what map have we not done? If I was to think, well, it's obviously not Glacier. And you know, I'm thinking there might be a little bit of a light bulb going off in my head. <laughs> and you know where I happen to be? In my house. I didn't know that. I thought you would be in the jungle. It's pretty crazy. If I was in the jungle, you'd, we'd be on a totally different wavelength right now. And that's Lighthouse. It sure is. You are absolutely <laughs> destroying, dominating, you could say. Let's go to this one. Oh, man. How do you manage to take a screenshot of almost every hiding spot location? I'm really impressed. You know, many people say that I've gotten a little bit old at some point. You know, some people might have grown up their whole life, lived their whole life, had a family, had kids, passed 
passed away. And on their gravestone that's in the crypt, it might say that they were a little bit sick of hiding spots. Maybe just a little bit. And that is correct. It is crypt. Our next one is up. How have you managed to get screenshots of all the weird islands that I do stuff on? <laughs> Fun fact, this particular island is actually hollow. And I've made a bug report of how you can get inside of it. And you know, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but this map's on orchestra. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> You'll have a, such a tough time with this one. Oh, man. This one's tricky. You see? I mean, I'm kind of going back and forth between a few things here. Maybe if I was in a minecart, I might be going around and around in my head about it. I'd say, you no, know, it's a tough, tough call. But at the top of the list is definitely rooftop. And at the top of mind, you got it correct. Let's head to the next one. How many correct with puns is that in a row, by the way? <laughs> Probably all of them. I got to say, down. so far through this whole thing, even if I get every other one wrong, I've gotten so many many puns correct that it's almost like double point it should be maybe we'll give you double points yeah. for the puns and looking at the leaderboard my name would obviously be at the top everyone else would fall off underneath it waterfall you are correct i think now is time for it's time for the like one or two block screenshots where i'm like hmm which shade of green is that based off of my swamp texture pack? Well, you know, if I was to think about any kind of race, any kind of challenge, I was to think about where my goal is to go, and that is the finish line of Speedway. That sure is. Let's get into the tough ones, shall we? We'll start with this one. Oh, okay. All right. So what I'm thinking here is any map without grass is not going to be that. So it's not going to be steampunk. It's not going to be speedway or rooftop or playground or orchestra. It could be Lotus, but Lotus, I don't think has any leaves on it. Lotus is made primarily out of clay. Lighthouse has leaves, but Lighthouse doesn't have grass. So this could be a few different things things i'm thinking it's between like genuinely this is my thought process it's either amazon or hollow i can't think of a single place on hollow where there's not something next to the grass is what i'm thinking because there's void behind it you would see an island behind it you would see stone hmm so if i'm if i'm gonna do it purely off of deduction there i'd say it's amazon unfortunately it is not amazon what is it, it's hollow is it really hollow where on hollow is that so that is the diamond gen on either side of that screenshot behind would be the two islands oh it's the back corner of it i was thinking these leaves were in front not actually on the grass like an overhanging leaf from the amazon tree like standing from up on on the tree looking down at the diamond gen. That was where I was thinking it was, but that makes sense. I should have clarified that. I didn't realize it looks that way. I think it's because the edge of those leaf textures are feel like they're distant, right? You know what I mean? They do. They sure do. Now that, I, now that you mention it. Well, there you go. I got my first one wrong. I had to empty my whole list of maps and I still narrowed it down to the wrong thing. That is all right. You're doing amazing still. Let's do this one. You know, there's an interesting thing about this particular spot oh gosh <laughs> Hollow has a flag that's vertical. It doesn't go horizontal and there's only one of them. It's like a banner more than a flag. So if I was to think, I would say that the only other option, you know what, actually, I gotta think about this. I'm gonna take a big sip of water. He's still killing it with the puns. <laughs> waterfall. <laughs> it is a waterfall. Doing great. <laughs> Next, we have this one. Very interesting, very peculiar spot. Fun fact <laughs> about this particular spot is I know I've been here because I tried to hide inside of those chains and there were barriers inside of them. The issue is that I don't remember which map I was on. Now, if I was to think about this long and hard, I don't think this is air show. I don't think that's... Okay, I've narrowed it down from one. All right, we're doing great. What else could it be? You know, I think I've got this one locked. Locked up forever, eternally. I don't remember, so I'm gonna say crypt. It is indeed crypt. You have got it correct. Which leads us to our next photo. Interesting strat, I would say. I had one in my head, like right off the start. When I first saw that, I had one. Oh, it's kind of gotten a little foggy and it's starting to dissipate. Hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, literally, like, you know, you know what else dissipates? You punk. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed steampunk. All right. Ooh. 
This looks like a void list map. Hold on a second. What is this angle? This angle is underneath in the center because when I did my GeoGuessr video, I had a corner of that block in the side of one of the rounds. And on that particular round, I know that I played on three maps and only one of them is in your quiz. So naturally, I got a quick delivery for this answer. It's Amazon. It sure is Amazon. And you got the style points for the pun as well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I've kind of created an own, my own challenge inside of the game at the same time. All right, so naturally, naturally, hmm, thought process could be a few different maps because this is like up on a ledge. Uh, this one's genuinely thrown me off a little bit. Orchestra doesn't have any windows on it. Oh, wait a minute. I've done a hiding spot here. <laughs> Fun fact, outside of that window, there's a lot of birch planks where you can get your wooden planks and hide them in the wall. And then also underneath that particular spot is a shopkeeper. And then there's another shopkeeper and you fireball jump up to here to then sit in an opponent's spawn and spawn kill them while they not only don't have a generator, but you have a punch bow above them. And it's just a great time for everybody. You know what you do when you're having a great time? You head out with everybody to the playground. It is playground. And have some fun. You have gotten it correct. Let's go. These will be the most difficult 15. Okay, now we're on the expert mode. We sure are starting with this guy. Ooh. See, this would be expert mode for a little bit of beginners, I would say, because there is a dead giveaway block on that left side, which is a piece of sand, which very few maps happen to have in them. And you know, this is something that often people aren't really looking out for. And you know what else you do when you look out for something? You go up to the lighthouse and check out into the ocean to see what's on the horizon. So the answer is lighthouse. And you are correct. Lighthouse is the answer, which leads us to this one. Okay. There's a couple maps that I've done hiding spots with that use coarse dirt like that. Now with coarse dirt, it's usually on these weird grassy maps or on anything that's like natural. So what I'm thinking is a grassy map wouldn't have a lot of water type blocks on it. This has just gotta be Lotus. It is indeed a Lotus. There you we are go. correct. All right, what is this one? This could be a couple maps. See with sand, usually there's like trees and stuff with it. I'm trying to think on lighthouse, there's not a lot of stone staircases. They're mainly made of like spruce planks. I've done wood skin hiding spots in them. But on the side of the base is like a sand staircase. So what's another map from this list that has sand and a cobblestone staircase? I'm thinking this is on a side island. It's on the ground. It has a staircase with some weird textures to it. Ah, I know what ground it's on. It's on the playground. <laughs> it is on the <laughs> playground. You are correct. Thought that one might stump you, but... I got there. I got there. Right up that staircase is where that birch plank hiding spot was. It seems that you really like this particular map. I gotta say, because that is the perspective of another hiding spot I've done on that map, which they've actually blocked not once, not twice, but three times because it was that good. We hid underneath the emerald generators on playground, and then they lowered the barriers to cover our hiding spot. Now, naturally, they didn't check the build height and we hid underneath those barriers. So naturally, they did it again. And then we hid underneath those barriers again. And so naturally they did it a third time and raised the build height. So the reason you can't block clutch on that map is kind of my fault. That's playground and that's the monkey bars underneath middle. It sure is. Actually, I didn't even know those were supposed to be monkey bars. That's a great point. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, I know that's vertically a vertically taken photo because the fence posts are going out the side. I thought I thought you did so, a little bit of trickery there. I'm not going to lie where you like spun the photo. It kind of looked like it for a second with that weird diagonal perspective. Yeah. I'm really oh wait that's not quartz that's snow uh -huh. 
I figured it out. We're on Glacier. We sure are. Oh, I thought man. that one might get you. My hope and dreams were dangling off a cliff there, but we pulled it back in. Our next photo is this one. Ooh, interesting. You know, oftentimes I look out the window and I think to myself, hmm, why am I inside of here? Anytime you go on this particular map and you fall into this particular pit underneath the emerald generators running around in the middle, you think this same thing because no one in the right mind ever jumps out that window because they'll fall straight into the void and you'll fall straight into the void on amazon you will fall into the void on amazon i'm surprised you knew that one but that's because i'm the only person crazy enough to jump out of that window and survive and i've baited a lot of people out that window <laughs> our next image is up all right what do we have here. Ooh. It's gonna be a couple different places. Now, I'm assuming that's a wool texture? That is clay. That is a clay texture. Okay, that changes things. Because if that's a wool texture, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking that's probably an air show, which it could still be that back fin on it. What else could that be? I don't think it's Amazon. Amazon uses more wool and leaves. Are you sure? No. You wouldn't do them back to back like that on a bright map with a dark screenshot unless that's exactly what you want me to think. Hmm. What else could it be? What else could it be? I don't think anything is triangular enough. All of the roof parts of Speedway are all lighter colored, but this could, this could also be the propellers under Steampunk because it has that same weird triangle shape. Hmm, this is tricky. This is getting to the part where I'm struggling to know the map. How the heck am I supposed to come up with a pun as well? <laughs> Man, I am really struggling to put on a show here. Full of hot air, some would say. <laughs> air show. <laughs> it is air show. You are correct. Now, earlier I told you a story about a hiding spot on this particular location, and that's exactly where I built my hiding spot, on the backside of the good old waterfall, as you can hear right here. It uh, is <laughs> indeed waterfall. Oh, interesting, interesting. Now, the part that I'm confused about is that left side goes to the void. That looks like an island that would be in middle. So this looks like the backside of a, of a forest map. What is this? What is this map? I don't think, I don't think Crypt has any sandstone on it like that. So it narrows it down significantly because that looks like one of the rings around Lighthouse, but it's not red. So what else has that sandstone color? Hmm backside of the steampunk bases are often white and black but they also have more cobblestone than that i think waterfall has a cave island so it wouldn't have a tower in it like that hmm this this one's actually tricky because this looks like three different maps what could this be i don't think there's a ledge on lotus oh you know what it is you know what it is? I have I've figured it out. Some would say that you'd think me finally coming up with an answer after pondering this for so long would be music to your ears. Music perhaps played by an orchestra. It is indeed orchestra. I thought that one might stump you. That's the backside of the diamond generator. All right, our next photo. You really like this map, huh? There is a lot of good hiding spots on this map, which fun fact, this ledge is actually has a multi-purpose to it. Multi, multi-purpose. See, the only map that has a long enough ledge around it like that with little windows would be the map playground. Now, you can trap people on that ledge if that's the lower ledge and not the upper ledge around the, the building. And I actually got a final kill by throwing silverfish repeatedly to a guy stuck on this ledge. Now, if I'm to think through all of my possible hiding spots, I'm just gonna double check. Does Steampunk has some weird layers you can hide on? But I'm pretty certain this is grounds for answer a playground it sure is playground <laughs> grounds for an answer i like it i like it i had to throw one in there you know all right we're oh, starting crap. with <laughs> this one wait i recognize this i recognize this because nothing makes a perfect v formation like that unless you're hopping on it like you're a frog perhaps on a lily pad that's lotus it sure is let's go everyone says it's impossible until it's done all right now where in the heck are we <laughs> 
Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so there's a few maps that this could be on. It's weird. It's a little bridge over a creek. The only water that's on Lighthouse I've used for traps. There's no water on Hollow or I would have drowned people in it. There's no water on Amazon or I would have delivered them to their death. So where are we? Realistically, it makes the most sense based off of the theme of other colors on this map for this to be waterfall. Now, I don't know where the heck this wooden bridge would be though on waterfall because I've mined up the top half of that map using a hoe by tilling it repeatedly and lucky block I made a dirt bed defense out of it. But I think that's my best guess. So I'm gonna go with waterfall and hopefully not plummet my score unfortunately it is not oh where is it this one is meant as a complete trick question once i tell you the answer you're you're gonna be mad at me for, for throwing this one in it's not from the maps is it this is actually on rooftop at the top of one of the islands there's a there's a little park some of the islands have a basketball court some of them have swimming pools and one of them has a park and this is from one of the rooftop tops Really? The, oh, wait. Yeah, I see a picture of rooftop. It's right there. Wow. I actually, I completely forgot they had different tops to them because I remember the one with the pool and the one with the basketball court and the helicopter pad. Yeah, that, that was a tricky one. That was a tricky one. I wouldn't have even thought about rooftop because the grass. All right, this one. What on earth? <laughs> Okay, so I'm assuming those little, that stone brick on the left, a Mandalorian mask frozen in carbonite. What the heck is made of stone brick and, is that your cobblestone texture? That's diorite. That's your andesite. diorite texture? Andesite maybe, or granite? Andesite's the gray one, diorite's the white one. Yeah, that's andesite then. Okay, so playground has a section of stone slabs, orchestra has a section of birch and quartz. This could be the top of lotus this could be a pathway on hollow this could be the ground on crypt this could be the staircase on amazon this could be the middle on amazon too okay so i think crypt is primarily polished andesite and cobblestone so i don't think there's stone brick on lotus and that was the one that i thought the answer was this is so hard <laughs> All right, I'm dying with my answer. Crypt, final answer. Unfortunately, another stumper over here. Eh, eh. This is actually, believe it or not, the middle of Lighthouse, the floor for the actual Lighthouse itself. That's made of stone brick and andesite? What the heck? Let's see how you do with the last three, starting with this one. Huh, what has a cache on it? What? Okay, all the air show balloons are wool. That might be the middle of orchestra, because when I turned off private game block protection, I dug through those to make a hiding spot. I think that's the proximity chat one where I drove RKY insane by being underground. Yeah, and him yelling and screaming confused where I was was definitely, once again, music to my ears. So that's orchestra, final answer. It sure is orchestra, you got it. All right, two more to go, starting with this one. Is that clay or stone? So stone and cobblestone on the right, grass on the left. I was about to say, if that was your dirt texture, there was going to be some issues. You would include something really obscure. Really, really obscure. Based off of the grass being different colors, I'm thinking underneath the emerald generator. I run laps of this map like a hundred times to gather enough to get the items I want in lucky blocks, getting emeralds. Now under this, if you get attacked, you get jumped and there's a little spike in a U shape. And I think this is next to that spike. Or I might just be completely making up stuff and this is just a pathway on hollow. But I think this is the top of a staircase next to a spike on Amazon. Unfortunately, it is not Amazon. You were so close with the pathway on hollow. It is indeed the pathway on hollow. No. Hit me with the sound effect. Eh, eh. <laughs> All right, our final picture. No Let's picture. see how you do. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> you really hit me with a solid wall? Are you kidding me? This could be like any map. Okay, I know this is looking down. It's not looking at the side or that'd be a weird perspective. So it can't be Amazon. There's no wool floor on Amazon. It's all on the walls. I, I don't think you'd hit me with a back-to-back -back hard one on Hollow. I think you, you would find something on a unique map in a couple places. This could be a roof section of orchestra, but I think that's the top part of the piano. 
that's the color, not the roof, because the roof's like coal blocks. This could be the top section of Speedway right above the bed. I don't think Steampunk has a flat enough area in the whole map, even if made of any block. Ah, oh, crap. It could be Air Show or it could be oh, Speedway. Those both have huge wool areas. Okay. Now, if I'm to think, this is either the top of the balloon or the top of Speedway. Ah, oh, crap. And I think you would expect me to think it's Speedway because it looks square, but it's actually an oval shape. So I'm going to choose Air Show. Final answer. You are correct. Let's go. Woo! You have made it to the end. Oh, goodness gracious.